Hello, everyone, and welcome to the EV Geek Podcast. For those of you who don't know, I'm Sebastian, and I'm currently in my 2019 Chevy Bolt, and we are about to go try using a Tesla supercharger for the first time. So tes uh, Tesla granted access to GM vehicles earlier this week, and I have a you know 2019 Bolt, and I'm curious you know, if, A, how easy it works, and B, does it work? Because GM has said that some 2019 and some 2020 Bolts need a software update in order to charge at uh, Tesla stations but I'm not quite sure if I need an update or don't because I can't get a straight answer from our uh, uh, dealership. So we're just going to drive up to the nearest uh, V3 supercharger that says compatible on the app and see what happens. supercharger um i've got my a to z adapter flip it open i can actually get it out I almost just dropped it there <laughs> got my a to z ccs to nax adapter now this is the original typhoon plug it's not the pro plug because i bought this back in february when we were allegedly going to get supercharger access in like march but then the supercharger team got fired whatever caused it to get delayed till september but hey i'm just happy to have it so i'm gonna get out and try to uh try to get it activated and see how much of it I can do with one hand or I might just not forget to record all of it. I'll try to make sure I screen record the actual activation process and we'll see if we can charge. All right y'all, I hope y'all can hear me. It's a little windy out here but we are charging. My adapter is on. The car beeped. Let's hit, hop on the side. Oh there's a hole right there. That took me out. All right, would you look at that. We are charging. No errors, no warnings, 51 kilowatt, which is exactly what I'd expect at this day to charge. It worked. It's pretty straightforward. I'm going to overlay the uh, start of the charge on the screen here, but otherwise it's pretty uneventful, which is good. That's how charging should be. So yeah, just to wrap it out, I mean, I'm super excited that this worked. I'm excited that I maybe don't need an update that may or may not be free. I've heard dealerships are trying to, even though GM says it's supposed to be complimentary, I've heard dealerships are trying to charge people for it or not doing it anyway dealers suck for the most part there's a couple good ones out there I'm not saying everyone sucks but for the most part it seems like dealers suck um so i'm excited that this worked thank you tesla for enabling a uh, gm charging and thank you for gm team for doing other thing on the back end that would you know maybe needed to be done one thing i would have loved to be able to see was some form of plug-in charge uh that way i could just plug the car in and go and technically you can activate it with the my chevrolet app but i don't know why you would do that if you can just use the tesla app like it's not like it's saving you any steps um but otherwise it worked so thank you all for joining us on this journey uh be sure to subscribe to the ev geek podcast on youtube and hit that notification bell so you know when we post new episodes if you want to drop a comment to this video uh with your thoughts any ideas or suggestions maybe that you'd like to see in the future but otherwise have a good day